Um, let's try and show you this digital display. Um, you can see I've now uh, altered the driver so that it occupies more of the available screen area. Um, Just wind the throttle up a bit so that the timer starts uh, and uh, I'll show you the, if I can get at it, I'll show you the um, the monitor screen on this sweet model. So the uh, update's still not as fast as the OLED screen but it's plenty fast enough to be reason uh, readable. Um, you'll notice that I've changed to using uh, sort of black ink on uh, on a white background here uh, by default, but um, that's because I found I thought it was more readable out in the sun that way. But it's an option anyway. You can uh, change it easily enough uh, by editing the config file. Uh, and I'll I think I probably showed you the ruler at the beginning, but uh, there it is. You can see it's about uh, what's that? Uh, sorry about it being upside down. You can see the whole display is about five centimeters across, and the actual um, lit up part is about uh, what's that? 30, 37, 38 millimeters, something like that. But it's a, it's a taller screen, it's a sort of 4 to 3 uh, ratio instead of um, 2 to 1. So I've made the characters uh, taller to try and, uh, and the spaces between them bigger, to try and use more of the available screen area. I say the main advantage of this screen is that you can read it outdoors. Uh, I think for indoor use, the OLEDs are still better even though they're smaller.